Welcome to the video tutorial for BioLegend's cloud-based Legendplex data analysis software. In this video, we will be showing you how to perform the basic steps needed to analyze a Legendplex data set. Please note, users are strongly encouraged to read the entire software manual for a complete explanation of all program features. For the purposes of this tutorial, we will begin on the software homepage, which is displayed upon logging into the program. To begin, Let's create a new experiment. Click the purple folder icon to the left of your screen. Next, click the plus icon. Enter your experiment name and click the Create button. Next, find your particular Legendplex assay from the beads pull down menu. This will then populate all the bead ID fields associated with the assay. For mix and match assays, please click the trash can icon to remove any unnecessary targets. If you are using a custom Legendplex assay, select the custom panel from the drop down menu. Note, you will need to manually define the bead IDs for each custom panel. Next, enter the top standard concentrations into the max column. These values can be found in the COA included with your Legendplex assay. Click Save to proceed to the data upload steps. If required, Adjust the parameters at the top of the screen to match your assay. Note, the default settings match those described in the Legendplex assay manual and typically do not need to be adjusted. Click the Select Standards FCS Files button. Navigate to the appropriate folder on your computer and then select all standard curve files from your assay and click Open. Ensure that the files are ordered in increasing concentration going down the file list with C0 at the top and C7 at the bottom. Adjust the file order if necessary by clicking and dragging files into the appropriate order. Select both the PE Reporter channel and the APC bead channel from the pull down menus to match your flow cytometer settings. Click the purple Upload button to upload your standard curve files to the cloud server. Next, we will upload any experimental samples. Click the Select Samples FCS Files button. Navigate to the appropriate folder on your computer, and then select all sample files from your assay and click Open. Should you wish to define samples as replicates of one another, please complete the following steps. Adjust the parameters in the replicates control box to match your assay files, and then click Apply. This will apply the replicate control settings to your sample files. Note, the sample name field is entirely editable should you wish to rename your samples beyond the default provided by the software. All files with the same name field will be treated as replicates by the software. Next, please input any sample dilution factors. You can manually enter values for each file in the dilutions column. Alternatively, you can apply a global dilution factor to all samples by entering a value into the dilution box. Click the Upload button, which is found below the Sample Files list. Wait for the program to gate all files, then click Review 
to proceed to the gating review steps. Select all files you wish to review from the list displayed by the software. Note, the default setting includes all uploaded files. Click Review. For the displayed file, ensure gating accuracy in the sizing plot, as well as both the A and B bead univariate APC plots. In the unlikely event of a gating error, please do the following. Click any plot to enable manual adjustments and fix the gating error. Remember to click Save to apply any changes. Once you are satisfied with the gates, check the Reviewed box to the upper right of the screen. The cart icon above the box will track the reviewed status of all uploaded files. Use the right and left cursor buttons found on the side of the plot images to scroll through and review all files, making any necessary adjustments. Once you are finished, click the Results tab to remove to the quantitation results. At the top of the screen, you will find a graphical display of the curves fitted by the software's five-parameter logistic curve fitting algorithm to your Legendplex assay's standard curve files. You can toggle between different curves by clicking the desired analyte's name at the top of the results table. Mouse over items on the graphs to see further detail and definitions. The quantitation results are listed by analyte columns in the results table. You can toggle to the bead count, PEMFI, and replicate percent CV tables by clicking their respective circles. When finished, click the report button to download your Legendplex assay data into an Excel report. One of the most exciting features in the software is the ability to instantly share your experimental workspace with other user accounts and with Biologin Technical Service. To access this functionality, click the purple icon folder. Find your assay and then click the three bar icon to the right. Click Share and then click the text field. If you would like to share your data with Biologin's technical service, simply check the box now visible. If you would like to share your data with another user, type their account email address into the field and hit enter. The software will automatically send an email to the user informing them that you have shared your data. You may unshare data at any time by repeating this procedure and clicking the X next to an account you have shared data with. Finally, should you ever wish to return to the landing page, click the Biologin logo at the top of the left screen. Please remember to read the user manual for a complete explanation of all the features in the cloud-based Legendplex data analysis software, and don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions. And best of luck with your experiments.